Hello! If this is the first video you're watching, allow me to be the first to welcome you to the online version of Math 235 in the Spring 2020 term. My name is Patrick Naylor, and I'm one of the instructors for Math 235, along with Graham Turner. The purpose of this video is to give you my take on how to succeed in this course. I've taken a lot of university courses over the last 10 years, a few of which were online. Since we're living in pretty unprecedented times, I thought it would be a good idea to give you some of my suggestions. I've broken these up into a few different slides. The first is some advice about this course in particular. Number one, don't underestimate this course. It's not easy. Make sure you keep up with the course material because it builds quickly. This is a direct continuation of Math 136, and the abstraction that began with vector spaces in that course will continue. If you didn't take Math 136 last term, review your notes and make sure you're up to speed. Number two, the main way that you'll be learning the material for this course will be the online lectures at open.math.uwaterloo.ca that accompany the course textbook. Both were developed by the University of Waterloo and Dan Walchuk and are great resources. Each week, there will be about three lectures for you to watch and one assignment to complete. We've done this in an effort to keep everyone on track. Make sure you set aside time for this course at least every second day, the same way you should as if you were attending lectures in person. Something else to keep in mind is that the notes, and more importantly the video lectures for Math 136, are also available through the Open.Math courseware. So if you want a quick refresher on the material for Math 136, that's a great place to start. Number three. Check Learn regularly. If you're watching the videos for the course, you will be anyways, but this is where we'll post assignments and any other updates. Make sure you're keeping up to date so you don't accidentally miss anything. Also, check and use Piazza regularly. If you have a question, chances are other people have the same question. Because of the number of students in this course, and because it's a great system, this will be our main way of answering mathematical questions. There's data confirming that students who are more active on Learn and Piazza are more successful. Number four, watch Dan Walchuk's introductory videos for this course. He has some great suggestions about how to succeed in this course and in math courses in general. Number five, lastly, we won't be posting lectures ourselves, but we will be posting short, helpful videos when we want to emphasize certain topics or ideas. There are also a lot of other free online resources, and we may post links to these throughout the term. The second slide is some suggestions about taking online courses in general. Number one, make sure you keep up with the course material. I can't emphasize this enough. Because there are no lectures to attend, it's easy to get behind. This is especially the case if it's your first time taking an online course, which may be the situation for many students this term. Number two, don't skim lecture materials or videos. They may seem short, but you should treat them as if they were a full one hour lecture. They're usually very condensed. Take good notes and pause and rewind the videos as you need to. Make sure you do the check-in examples if there are any, and do not move on until you feel you completely understand the material. Number three, in particular, just reading a textbook is not an effective study strategy for an online course. You should read it actively, which means doing the exercises. The same thing goes for the video lectures. In general, learning mathematics isn't easy, and it may feel slow or hard, but this is okay. For our course, I recommend you do as many problems in the textbook as you have time for. Normally, in an on-campus term, you would complete practice problems every week to prepare for your tutorial quiz you'll need to do the same preparation for our online assignments. I'll repeat what I said. For this course, do as many practice problems as you can. Number four, sometimes life happens and you do get off track. Don't panic and just do your best. However, just like in a regular course, get in touch with your instructor earlier rather than later. Well, that's about all for now. Like I said, We'll be posting a bunch of videos throughout the term, so you'll be hearing from us a lot more. Remember, we're here to help you succeed in this course, so feel free to get in touch via the course email if you have any concerns. 
study hard, and good luck.